Today on In Your Face Anatomy, we're going to get into chapter one, talk about some of the basics, uh, the terminology, all of the stuff that we need to know to do well. I'm Dr. Davis. This is Ka, the children's python. Let's get into it. All right, some of the directional terms that we use for anatomy and physiology. I'm a huge fan of knowing your Latin, knowing your, your directional terms, all of that. So it makes your life a little bit easier if we have some basic understanding. So before we get into the actual directional terms, we need to understand anatomic positioning. So anatomic positioning is just standing straight, arms at your side, palms up, looking forward. So this is anatomical positioning right here. And this is important because everything in our body is named from this position. This is our starting point. And it, it does cause some change. So if you look at your, your, your forearm, your um, radius versus your, your ulna, but they change sides during anatomical position where my radius is now my lateral forearm bone. But typically, it's going to be my medial one just from normal everyday walking around stuff. All right. So let's look at some of these directional terms. First up, we have superior versus inferior. So superior, what we mean with that is just above or up, inferior, we just mean below or down. Above, up, below, or down. You may also um, see this from time to time listed as uh, cranial or caudal. So cranial is the same as superior. Cranial. And then caudal is the same as inferior. So cranial, we're talking about our head. With caudal, we're talking uh, down below. So superior, inferior, anterior versus posterior. Now, this is another one you may also see. Uh, anterior is ventral. Change colors here. Uh, ventral. And posterior is dorsal. So anterior means the front. In front, posterior means the back or behind. Anterior in front of, posterior behind. So ventral in front of, dorsal behind. I always remember this because the dorsal fin on the shark sticks up out of the water. That's what you see. That's the dorsal fin and it's sticking up on its back. So that's how I can always remember posterior. All right. Next up, we got medial versus lateral. So for medial versus lateral, on the next couple here, what we have to imagine is going right down the center of my body, I've got this imaginary line. So I'll use this yardstick. Right down the middle of my body, I've got this imaginary line. Anything that's closer to this line or that moves towards this line is considered medial. Anything that moves away or is farther away from this imaginary line is going to be lateral. So with medial, we can think middle, but middle and medial are not the same thing. But we can think that just to get us going here. So uh, medial, we're going to say towards the middle, towards the middle. Lateral, we're going away from the middle. Whoops. So with something like that, I could say that my um, ear is lateral when compared to my nose, because my nose is right on that midline. So to get to my ear, I have to move laterally. All right? If I flip that around, say my nose is what when compared to my ear, I have to start from my ear and then move medially to get towards the nose, or anterior for that matter, you could say as well. Um, all right, ipsilateral versus contralateral. So ipsilateral just means same side. My right arm and my right leg are on the ipsilateral side of my body. My right arm and my left leg are then going to be on contralateral sides of my body. Proximal versus distal. Now, let me say this real quick. Uh, same side, ipsilateral, opposite sides. And when I say same side or opposite side, again, that imaginary midline going in the middle of the body. Ipsilateral, same side. Contralateral, opposite sides of that imaginary line. Proximal versus distal. Proximal means closer. And then with distal, what I want you to think is distant. 
because distal actually means farther, farther away. Again, from that midline. So I could say, um, compared to my wrist, compared to my wrist, my elbow then is proximal. It is closer to the rest of my body. Um, I could say compared to my elbow, my wrist is distal. It is further away from than the elbow is from my body as we're going through that process. Proximal, distal. Proximal, closer. Distal, farther. Superficial versus deep. So superficial is just closer to the surface. Uh, closer to the surface. Where deep is far farther down. That's pretty self-explanatory. Superficial, closer to the surface. And my epidermis is the superficial layer of my skin because it is on the surface. My dermis is underneath that, so that is a deeper layer of skin. And then internal versus external. Internal is inside. External is outside. Internal, outside. Um, so that is our directional terms and orientation. Uh, let's be familiar with this. The real trick to this comes in how to decipher the questions because you'll get a lot of questions that say compared to my ear, my nose is what? Compared to my elbow, my wrist is what? Compared to my hip, my knee is what? My ankle is what? You'll get a lot of questions like that. So if we pause for just a second to look at those kind of questions, compared to my hip, my knee is what? So what, where's our starting point? That's what we have to figure out. So it's always with compared to what? Boom, compared to my hip. So I'm starting at my hip. My knee is what? My knee is going to be distal. It's going to be further away. Compared to my knee, my hip is what? So starting at my knee now, compared to my knee, my hip is what? My, my hip is going to be proximal. It's going to be closer. So you got to practice a few of those questions, figure out how to answer them, figure out what we're really looking for, and it makes this stuff a lot, a lot easier. Good luck.